fully supports the Muscat Ministerial Manifesto on AMR. In this conference, we had many agriculture, animal, and human health representatives discussing the AMR threat and its impact on the development. Guide the change, lead to the results, what we expect. Thank you. Thank you very much. The third global high-level ministerial conference on antimicrobial resistance hosted by the Sultanate of Oman concluded its two-day sessions with the participants signing the Muscat Ministerial Manifesto on accelerating the One Health Action on Antimicrobial Resistance to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals to be submitted in the 2024 United Nations General Assembly high-level meeting on antimicrobial resistance. In his speech, His Excellency Dr. Hilal bin Ali Sabti, Minister of Health, pointed out that the outcomes of this conference will inform the continuous dialogue on One Health Action in the run-up to the high-level meeting on antimicrobial resistance in the 2024 United Nations General Assembly. AMR is a silent uh, pandemic. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, the world should take it seriously. It was a problem even before the pandemic, the COVID pandemic, uh, but we had disruptions with COVID pandemic, as you know, and um, uh, we need to do, to do more. The manifesto is ambitious and also uh, concrete, the three targets. Uh, so I think, um, you know, the next is to really act on the, on the targets. Uh, but the conference has been really successful. We believe the importance of this conference. Uh, it is held with international affiliation and engagement for this important issue which affects the human being life uh, and uh, focusing on uh, the, uh, uh, the plants and water and uh, uh, animal resources as an important resource for human being and the effect of antimicrobial uh, uh, or use of antibiotics in non-proper way affecting the human life. Based on the manifesto, participants will work to achieve three targets. The first target is to reducing the total amount of antimicrobials used in the agri-food system by at least 30 to 50 percent from the current level by 2030. This target is an aspirational target that aims to galvanize a strong national and global political action and consolidation of efforts and commitment. This is an extremely important meeting. It's been almost 100 years since a Scottish physician, Alexander Fleming, discovered the first antibiotic, penicillin. And in the almost 100 years since then, we've seen many, many new drugs which are extremely relevant to patients with infectious diseases. But unfortunately, nowadays, we see that the development of antimicrobial resistance goes much faster than the development of new drugs. And that poses a significant threat to millions and millions of patients worldwide. The Muscat Ministerial Manifesto, we have worked on it over the last 12 months. It has been shared with member states of the World Health Organization and the um, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, of the member states. And we have conducted an inter-country consultation uh, with member states of the WHO and FAO that has been um, attended by more than 100 countries, almost 110 countries. This conference has been success, not only for Oman, but for, for most countries in the world. Thank you, Oman, for the best organization. As agreed by the participants, the coming fourth global high-level ministerial conference on antimicrobial resistance will be hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Rubai, Sultanate of Oman Television, Muscat.